Hi guys, Dave's here. Well, I'm going to do some more testing on some, with some stains here. And I've got rusty oil in Roanoke. I think I pronounced that right. I'm not good at some words. So I've got eight different kinds of wood here. So let me stain one half. I'll put a tape line on it. I'm going to stain one part of it so we can look at before and after. So let me get my stain here. Okay guys, I've got it all stained. Now let me let it set for about three minutes, then we'll wipe off the excess. Okay, it's been three minutes, so we don't want to let this dry on there. So let me wipe off the excess here. Okay guys. I've got it all wiped off, so let's let it set 24 hours, and then we'll come back and look at it. Okay, guys, I've let it dry for 24 hours, so well, now let's look at each one of them individually here. Okay, here's the white oak before and after. Here's the maple before and after. Here's the white ash before and after. Here's the dark walnut before and after. Here's the cherry before and after. Here's the poplar before and after. Here's the red oak before and after. Here's the white pine before and after. So I hope this helps somebody that wants to use the rusty old and brown oak stain. Um, it looked pretty good on some of the woods. As always, thanks for watching guys.